Uh, hi all, we're from Press Grow, a social enterprise looking to help create mentally healthy workplaces. My name is Ruth Taylor. Hi, I'm Ray. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. It's nice to see you today. Now we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to continue talking about Tafaru Tapu Fa, and we're talking now about the mental kind of pillar now. The Heninaro. Heninaro. Yeah. People don't like this word, eh? Mental. Um, so as soon as you put that word onto anything, people start kind of panicking or don't really know what to do with it. And I guess it's, you know, really what Presco is trying to be about. It's trying to help, you know, mentally healthy workplaces and also mentally healthy people. So what is it? What, what can we do for this pillar then? Is, is there anything specific that you've found works for you, Ray? I think the important uh, thing for this pillar is actually having all the rest of them yeah. supported as well, because when they're out of balance, that's when that impacts heavily on our hand and adult. Um, you know, giving ourselves permission to just be, like we were talking off camera, it, it's being human is actually really important right now. Just, just we're all just doing our best to get through this. Some of us are, are really, really organized and everyone has a different situation. Everyone has a different amount of, um, you know, animals interrupting us, whether they be human animals or, <laughs> or four-legged ones. But I think, um, yeah, just, just be kind to ourselves. You know, Jacinda keeps telling us all to be kind to others. Be kind to yourself as well during this time. I think and, and recognize that it, it we don't I think there's a lot of people are telling us how we have to feel and how we have to get through this yeah. um probably the biggest thing for me is hoping that people actually teams connect yeah. through this sort of medium and that um they keep an eye out on each other because you know each other really really well eh, in the workplace you get to know each other and so if you see signs that someone's actually struggling in this, this period, then we need to reach out. We need to be there for each other. And if you don't know how to do it, that's when we come in and we can, there's so many websites around at the moment and people offering support. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And so I think it's really important just to reach out. Just take that step. Yeah. I've always sort of said you know every day we have a story or every, every person has a story and every day that's different yeah so you know my story today was is different to what my story was this time yesterday you know other things have happened I've talked to people I've seen things I've read things you know all that kind of stuff so my story is different today to what it was yesterday and things can change like that uh, they, they really can I mean um but it's that kind of thing, you know, not everyone wants to share things. Um, yeah. Yep. Oh, and hard. totally. It's good. I think I, and I'm just going to drop this in because this little thing has been one of the saving graces for me. Oh, yeah. Emotional culture deck. Because looking at going through it and, you know, having um, people that want to, you know, sometimes things like this, this little baby here, this card appreciated. When we're in the lights of lockdown, we're used to being appreciated in, at a workplace. Well, how do you get appreciated when you, you don't even see each other? And so going through and, and acknowledging what feelings that we've got each day, you know, can make a, a difference. How do I want to feel today? When I'm struggling, I always turn around and pull these cards out and say, well, how do I actually want to feel it? You know, I, do, I do have this. Oh, yes. Smile. That's, that's no, good. turn it around, Ruth. By the way. It reads just to... <laughs> really? <laughs> no, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Yes, there. Yeah, that's it. That's the right way for us. I was going to say that wasn't, that wasn't. Anyway, so I mean, just <laughs> it, it actually can help to have these little kind of reminders, eh? Having things like this, I know. Reminders. 
people do kind of go oh my god it's so like hippie to have these things around but sometimes it does remind us just to take that kind of you know come out of our own minds remind us that there's a world around us and actually you can smile you can make a difference um you can make that change in the world just what is it the smile is one of the most infectious things we can do and, and lovely things on my desk yeah Oh, I've got my friend to you. <laughs> it's indeed. It, 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 <laughs> Getting COVID. Yeah, just sits up, sits out in the background. Well, as I say, smiles are more infectious than COVID, so we really should spread more of them. That's, uh... Oh, awesome. Lovely way to finish. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you.